Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. So today we're going to take a look at some erasers. Uh, this is going to be part one because there are a lot of erasers out there. I have a lot of erasers in my collection. I like erasers uh, because I'm a person who will fully admit that I make mistakes. Uh, and erasers help us correct those mistakes. And when I do pencil reviews, I always have a, my little blue box here of erasers that I go to to test the erasability of different pencils. Um, and so I want to start with that box and its contents and look at the erasers that we're going to sort of take for a test drive today. Um, these are all erasers that I've used um, for a long time, many years in some cases, and so we're going to compare and contrast these. So let's meet, let's meet our erasers first. Let's do that first. So um, I have to do a little focusing here. It's a little uh, worn out here. But this is a Allen C. Hartmuth eraser. This is sort of their smaller version uh, of it. Uh, it comes in different sizes. This is the sort of the tiny version of it. it has the elephant. This is a this is a real um, iconic eraser. Um, Allen C. Hartmuth really I don't think exists anymore. Um, uh, Koenor um, ha is the com company that that makes this now, but they've kept the old design. Now, here's what I can tell you about this eraser: is this is a natural rubber eraser? Okay, natural rubber eraser. So that's 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 one eraser we're going to be looking at. The next one, which is also a rubber eraser, uh, is another iconic. Uh, this is the Art Gum, a gum eraser, used a lot by artists, um, but certainly we use these in school too for general erasing, and so um, we've got that, and I always have one of those on hand. Then perhaps the most iconic of all uh, erasers, uh, certainly in the United States, is what is now the Paper Mate Pink Pearl. Uh, it used to be Sanford, uh, now it's Paper Mate, um, made in Malaysia. And um, this is a synthetic rubber eraser. And um, uh, I don't know if they still do, they used to have a little pumice in them to give it a little rough of a rougher of a texture to help uh, lift that graphite off the page. But the pink eraser certainly a standard school item. Uh, then we have, um, moving on from that, another synthetic rubber eraser, the Milan 430. Uh, this is a square eraser, comes in different colors. Uh, this is, happens to be a green one. They're all made of the same material, that they're, although they're different colors. Sometimes you see them in white or in pink as well. Um, then we have some plastic erasers here. Uh, the Staedtler Mars Plastic, of course, is uh, made in Germany and a, another very popular eraser um, and comes with the, has a, the plastic sleeve to help kind of uh, uh, protect the eraser from getting dirty, uh, but it also gives you sort of a grip. Um, then we have the uh, Mapid um, mini softy eraser and uh, this is uh, a real this has got a little squish I guess that's why they call it a softy it's this very soft textured uh, plastic eraser also with the sleeve uh, here we have a um, Mr. Pen which is a online brand uh, they make all kinds of office accessories uh, uh, including erasers and this is a uh, latex-free um, plastic eraser also soft 
very similar to the uh, the mini softy um, eraser and also comes with its paper sleeve and then we have a uh, Faber Castell um, plastic eraser I like this one be I love the shape of it it's very easy to hold to erase I think it comes in a three pack you get like one that's round oval and triangular and I think they're really marketed honestly to kids because they're one they have these they come in different colors green blue red yellow so they're fun colors but uh, they're also really easy to hold and I think they're probably easier for little hands to uh, to hold and to use so those are the erasers that we're going to be looking at now let's meet the pencils that we're going to be erasing today so i just grabbed a handful uh out of my pencil cup at random um and so we've got we're going to have they're all number two here's a usa titanium uh made in america of course uh here is a chinese made Dixon Ticonderoga number two in the black. Um, here is a pen and gear made in India number two pencil. Here we have a Musgrave Cirrus number two uh, made in Tennessee here in the US. Uh, here we have a uh, Asian made Palomino Black Wing 602 and here we have a US made uh, from the General Pencil Company the Cedar Point um, 333 so those are the pencils we're going to be reviewing and here is our sort of review pad I'm going to so we can take a look at these let me and we're going to do one eraser at a time and see how each one performs so on the left is the pencil um, and you can actually kind of see just from the the line made with the pencils you can see how the pencils differ some of these pencils I've reviewed already uh, and you can check those reviews out in my video list uh, in the playlist of pencils but um, I've also got the different um, erasers that we're going to be putting towards these tests at the top so Let's start with our Ellen C. Hartmuth Natural Rubber Eraser. And we're just going to go kind of down the line here. Okay. So we've got some crumbs and uh, not a, you know, not a ton, but there are definitely some, some eraser crumbs there. And uh, I think as we look down, you can see that this eraser mm, performed better on some than on others. The USI Titanium, it didn't do that great of a job at all, nor the Ticonderoga left a little shadow. The Pen and Gear, the Musgrave, the Blackwing, the Cedar Point did a pretty decent job. Okay, now our friend the Art Gum, Gum Eraser. Let's go down and see how we do here. Now this, I love the smell of these erasers. This is making much larger crumbs as you would expect from a gum eraser. Again, not great with the uh, 
titanium. Um, but all right on the other ones. Now our friend the pink pearl. Okay, you can see the crumbs there. Um, better job with the titanium, which seems to be the darkest of all the pencils uh, in this trial. Um, really nice job on the Blackwing, on the Cirrus, on the Pen and Gear. Uh, the Milan. Quite a bit of crumbs there. I would say it performed equally to the pink pearl. Now, the plastic erasers. Uh, let's try the Mars here. Okay, not without uh, crumbs either. Well, none of these really will be. Um, nice job on the titanium and really right down the line. Really, uh, I have to say that this, when you compare the, the Mars to the synthetic rubber erasers or the natural rubber erasers, you do notice a difference. They really does too. Uh, a nice job. Let me. I want to. Want you all to be able to kind of see the paper even a little bit closer, so you can maybe be easier for you to see visually how these are comparing and contrasting. Okay, let, let's pull back a little bit. and continue our trial here. Next is the Mini Softy. Made in France. I actually got this, these erasers at a stationery store in Paris. Some people hang out at the Louvre. I did that, but I also hit the stationery stores and office supply stores. Okay. Okay. Um, good job overall. Um, not quite the same on that titanium. A little bit more shadowing from the mini softy. But I would say the rest fairly comparable. Okay, now next, Mr. Penn. Not sure where this um, is made. This eraser. Soft texture. Uh, releases sort of larger crumbs. Not a whole bunch of small ones, but fewer longer ones. Uh, 
Uh huh. Uh, really, uh, honestly, uh, this and the Mars are fairly comparable in terms of the removal of the graphite from the paper. Okay, and then finally our our oval-shaped uh, Faber-Castell here. Um, a decent job, not great up here. Boy, that USA Titanium, uh, I think that pencil, um, the, the core is dark and it is a number two, but it's a, it's a, it's a softer number two and uh, I love the line that it makes, but it, it does, it does require a, a, a more effort and a certain kind of eraser. But I think the Faber-Castell overall did a pretty good job. Yeah, this Milan here, you really, let me, let me run this back over. Part of it is as I wipe the page, some of these pencils have a have a smudge drag. It happens, but well, I got plenty of crumbs, eraser crumbs on my lap, I'll tell you that. So, you know, an eraser for every purpose, for every budget for every preference. Um, I believe the plastic erasers, most of the ones that I tried all market themselves as PVC latex free. Um, and so because there are people who have issues and allergies uh, with those kinds of chemicals. So um, there are a lot more erasers for us to review, and we will do that in um, subsequent parts of this eraser uh, survey here. But let's just put them back all up here and take another look at our first eraser collection. This is the assortment, like I said, that I always keep kind of at the ready. When I do eraser reviews, I like all of them for different reasons. Uh, and it is uh, interesting to see how they all perform uh, with different pencils. Um, so thank you so much for spending some time with me, for looking at these erasers and their performance. And I'll look forward to seeing you again real soon here on Always Analog.